Hello? Mom, it's me. Oh, what's the matter? Did you miss your plane? No, I didn't. You know, darling, we were just talking about you. Um, Would you call Mr. Lassiter and say I won't be in on Monday? Oh, sweetheart, I'm not sure you should ask for an extension on your vacation. <laughs> it's not an extension, Mom. See, I'm not coming home. Oh, don't be silly, darling. I'm not being silly. I like it here. It feels like home already. Marianne, if there's a boy, you better There's no boy. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Now, don't Thanks. be ridiculous. You've only been there five days. Right, right, but I want to start making my own life. Have my own apartment. Have you seen those new places out at Ridgemont? I could make you those curtains like I made for Sonny and Vicky when they got Mom, married. I'm trying to tell you I'm a grown woman now. Well, then act like it. You can't just run off from your family and friends for a bunch of hippies and Will you just call Mr. Lassiter? You won't come back. I will, I, I promise. You, you won't be the same. I know that. No, I hope not. Honey, now listen to me, Marianne. You've got to come back here. Please. Bradshaw. Mary Ann Singleton. Fantabulous! Come on in! I was wondering if, you know, I could crash with you until... Sure! No sweat! Hey, hon. Long time no see. <laughs> long time. Eight years. Close your eyes, okay? Open up. The Buccaneer! <laughs> oh, God, my hair. I ironed it for an hour that day. Mary Ann Singleton. Still waters run deep. Pep Club. Future homemakers of Ohio. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Rest in peace. No. Oh. So, what do you do, like, for fun? You name it. <laughs> I'd rather not. Well, um, for instance, some guy left this here. Co-ed baths, world's cleanest orgy. You've been there? No, but I wouldn't rule it out. If, if you're planning on doing that... Hey, come on, you're new. Give it time. The city loosens people up. So, I'm hungry as hell. We should eat if we're gonna boogie tonight. We're gonna boogie? The trick is to look bored with it all! That shouldn't be hard. I, I mean, it, it's great. I just... I thought we'd do something colorful, like go to Chinatown for dim sum or something. Hon, you wanna get laid? You don't have to, for Christ's sake. Look, if you can't deal with your sexuality, you're going to get screwed by good in this town. Oh, I like that. Sounds like a country western song. Come on, and try not looking like Trish and Nick's reviewing the truth. No, I think I'll just soak it in. So you go ahead. Do it yourself, huh? Not into boogieing, huh? You into uh, head trips? I don't know exactly what. Hey, I'm not making a pass yet. I just want to look at your heart line. Oh wow! Look at your point of insertion. 
right between Jupiter and Saturn. Well, what does that mean? Because you're a very sensual person. Not to mention a hopeless romantic who likes earth colors, foggy nights, Lena Vertmiller films, lemon candles when you make love. Do you know you look exactly like Jennifer O'Neill? No, but if you hum a few bars. Lemon candles when you make love. <laughs> Secluded one bedroom apartment on Russian Hill. Apply 28 Barbary Lane. You'll know if it's right for you. As in medieval. You can't feel as ancient as I do. I've been apartment hunting all day. I'm Marianne Singleton. Come on, I'll show you the flat. Well, there's a view. If you count a patch of bay through the trees, utilities included, small house, nice people. Did you just get here this week? Is it that obvious? <laughs> the look is a dead giveaway. You can't wait to bite into that lotus. I'm sorry? Tennyson, you know, um, eating the lotus day by day, watching the crisping ripples on the beach and the uh, tender curving lines of creamy spray to lend our hearts and spirits wholly to the influence of Does something. Does it come with furniture? Don't change the subject while I'm quoting Tennyson. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to be. <laughs> You'll get used to my babbling. They all do. <laughs> yes, uh, some furniture's included. Are you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. You're one of us, then. Welcome to 28 Barbary Lane. Thank you. Yes, you should. Do you have any objection to pets? Dear, I have no objection to anything. Russian Hill, huh? It's really nice there. Yeah, the place is really cute. The landlady's a bit odd, but she seems okay, and I can move in tomorrow. I don't have to mooch off you. You're not mooching. I, I like the company. I know. I, I like it, too, really. It's just... I want to take you out tonight. You name it. The hottest spot in town. We're already there, Dink. Where? Right here's the hottest spot in town. Sure, if you get off on the groceries. 
if you get off on men. <laughs> well, what do I do? I lurk behind the artichoke till a stockbroker comes along? <laughs> You'll see. Meet me back here in 15. Excuse me. Are these scallions or green onions? Both. Hey, uh, look. Maybe you could tell me a little about Chinese cooking. I seriously doubt it. Oh, uh, come on. Most of the chicks in this town are really into wax. I'm not most chicks. OK, skip it. Get out the rag, bitch. Charming. Your friend with the sparkling repartee? Here, let me help you. You heard all that? Uh, I only heard the punchline. Was the rest of it any better? No. Nope. Not unless you like discussing scallions with Charles yeah. Manson. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robert. Marianne. At the risk of sounding like Charles Manson, could I get a little vegetable advice? Not scallions. No, it's asparagus. <laughs> Hollandaise, actually. Look, I try it, I do everything right, I get glob. Yeah, it's the butter. It, it, has, it has to be hot. It has to be really, really hot. <laughs> Can't leave you alone for a minute. Michael, Marianne, Marianne Michael. Hi. Hi. She was just helping me with Hollandaise. Oh, good. He's awful at Hollandaise. You see, he's the master chef in the house, which entitles him to make life miserable for me. Oh, well, I, I'm i not much of a, a cook either. Oh, no, no, you've been a lot of help, which is more than I can say for some people. Temper. Well, I, I really should finish up. Thank you for your help, really. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. as a welcome from us all, and a madrigal. Garbage, you know, is very revealing. Beats the shit out of tarot cards. Well, what would you say about four yogurt cartons, some avocado peels, and a cost plus bag? Um, the subject takes very good care of herself nutritionally. She's probably on a diet, and she's furnishing a new apartment. Uncanny. And she likes growing things, because she didn't throw out the avocado pits, so she's probably rooting it in her kitchen. <laughs> I'm Mary Ann. I know. Well, for my garbage? No, from our landlady. Mother of us all. I'm Mona Ramsey. Oh. Right below you. <laughs> You'd never guess what mother taped to my door last night. A joint? She told you? Nah, we all get one. She grows it. She's even got names for the plants. Beatrice, Dante, Heathcliff. You want some ginseng? What? <sighs> can't people see in? You can't really hide from the cosmos, right? Where's that skirt? See, you want to be a secretary, right? How did you know? Ah, oh, big mother, Mrs. Magical. She gets the news out fast. She likes you. She told you that? Yeah. You like her? Well, yes, I, 
I haven't known her long enough to really... She thinks you think she's weird. Oh, great. Instant rapport. Do you think she's weird? Won't I? I, I, I do, I guess. Maybe it's my fault we don't have people like that in Cleveland. Too bad for Cleveland. Can you toss me that skirt? I, I should go. I've got to make some calls about some interviews. So, you really want to be a secretary? It's worth a shot. He's desperate. His last secretary just got pregnant on him. Well, what's he like? Old money, Republican, a really fun night. Show tunes with the Nixon. How gentle should I be after last night? I don't think I should be gentle at all. Who the hell are you? Now, you're not planning on running back to Cleveland. Oh, no, sir. I love San Francisco. They all say that. Well, in my case, it's true. Are you that sassy with your parents, young lady? Why do you think I can't go back to Cleveland? <laughs> okay, that's it. Sir? The last time you see me laugh. Because as of right now, you're working for the biggest son of a bitch in town. Well, it's about time. Preacher Day, I don't believe we've met. Excuse us, please. I think you know what this is about. So, are you a secretary? So where were you last night? I don't get a bang out of this, you know. It doesn't thrill me that my own daughter calls me at 2 a.m., crying her eyes out. Frankly, I don't see what business this is of yours. God damn it! Franny spent two hours trying to calm Dee Dee down. What the hell time did you get in, anyway? Hi there. You got the job, didn't you? Did Mona call you? Nope. I just knew you would. You always get what you want. Hmm? You're a lot like me. Thanks. <laughs> Look, uh, if you're free tonight around 8, come for supper. I'm having a few friends. Thanks. I'd love to. Good. Now go say your prayers or something. Hmm? You're a working girl now. <laughs> Got to admit, Edgar, it's gone too far. Right. People are too goddamn sensitive. Indians aren't Indians. No, oh, Native Americans. Took me 10 years to learn to say Negroes. Now they're blacks. God damn it. What do I call the maid? Another double, please. Booter? Yeah. And gay. That used to be a perfectly normal word that meant something wholesome and fun. Look at it now. Jesus, God. Decent young couple is almost embarrassed to mention they've been to the Gaieties. Good point. Say, what do you say we ditch that opera and get up a poker game here? Good idea. Why is it always the marriage of goddamn Figaro? <laughs> What's the matter with South Pacific? Now, there's a show. Singing, dancing, war. I'll be right back. I've got a call for any. Edgar? Henry, how the hell are you? Fine, thanks. Malcolm, give my girl a call. We'll set up the Stanford game. Will do. Yeah, get me 555-1663. Evening. Ruby here. It's Edgar House here, Mrs. Miller. Oh, how nice to hear your voice. Gracious, it's, it's been a long time. Yes. You know, business. Oh, yes. Busy, busy, busy. Can I see you tonight, possibly? I know it isn't much notice. Well, sure you can. Right now. Thank you so much. Not at all. Mr. Halcyon. Hello. Hi. Hi. Want to mellow out? 
<laughs> Guess what? What? I'm going to dinner at Mrs. Madrigal's tonight. Congratulations. She likes you. You already told me that. Well, then she trusts you. <laughs> Why do I have to be trusted? You don't. You just need to mellow out. You're right. Coke? No, I'm on a diet. Do you have any Fresca? Now, wait. Even you must have seen Porgy and Bess. Sporting life? Happy dust? This is an American institution. All the silent film stars snorted. Why do you think they look like this? Here, want some? No, thanks. Uh, I, I really should be getting ready. Her friends are so trippy. How, how, how do I handle it? Her? I don't know. I just... I feel like she expects something of me. Bourgeois paranoia. I know, but... You're really close with her. I thought you might be able to tell me, you know... Her quirks. She's decent. That's her quirk. And... She makes a fabulous rack of lamb. Sure you don't want some? Three Negronis. Before the opera. I'm getting paranoid, I guess. Mm, the old man again. He's putting the screws to me about Didi. And he's suspicious. Always. And what does Didi think? You're assuming she knows how to. <laughs> She's a tad thick, but... She pays for your Wilkes Bashford addictions. And she's got a nice box at the opera. <laughs> I didn't come here to talk about my wife, Peter. It's funny, everybody else did. <sighs> Gotta go. I ain't a clean and knock music. You too. Hi. Hi. Um, I want to tell you something. It's no, you know, big deal, but Marianne's been asking me about you. Have you told her anything? No, I figured that's your business. You think she's too green? Right now? Yeah. But I knew she was coming to your party, so I figured, you know, I don't want you to be embarrassed. Oh, thank you. I should mind my own business. No. I'm grateful for your concern. Would you like to come tonight? No. I brought some work home. Now, Mona, you're very special to me, dear. Thank you, Mrs. Madrigal. Busy, busy, busy. The muse approaches. Sorry, I hope it's not too much trouble. Oh, don't be silly. I'm tickled to death. Oh, what can I offer you? High C? A Fritos? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Notice any changes? In the place? No, in you. This is your fifth visit. There should be changes. I'm not sure. I may. I... Don't force it. Let it come. I wish I had your confidence. Faith, Mr. Halcyon. Faith is different than confidence. Uh, Mrs. Miller, my wife is expecting me at the opera. Have you told her about this? Sometimes it helps if a loved one joins in. My family is Catholic. Oh. Well, Jesus loves the Catholics, too. And Jesus can help you. But you must believe. Become a child again. 
seek, seek refuge in his bosom. Heal him, Jesus. Heal thy servant, Edgar. Heal his failing kidneys and make him whole again. Mrs. Madrigal? Mary Ann? I'm just grinding the gazpacho. Help yourself to some hors d'oeuvres. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. To my little bordello. Oh, it's, it's very nice. Don't be ridiculous. It's depraved. <laughs> you planned it that way. Of course. Uh, help yourself to a joint. Mm -hmm. And don't bother to pass it around. I hate that soggy communal business. Yeah. If you're going to be degenerate, you might as well be a lady about it. Laurel, walk him, please. Mm -hmm. Anna, darling. Come in. Yeah. Hi. I'm Laurel. Hi. Again. They pay for this box, dear. Why can't you advertise something nice like Jeffrey Bean or Bill Glass or even Anne Klein? No, no, I understand business. Daddy, I'm sorry. I got tied up. You're always sorry and you're always tied up. Edgar, yes, dear. you've got to do something. I've spoken to him, Franny. She's distraught. She's puffy. She only gets puffy when she's distraught. My favorite year was 67. Right. You know, the acid, the Avalon, right the human being. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were oh, yeah. 14 freaks in that place on Oak Street <laughs> and only six sleeping bags. Uh, can you imagine that? <laughs> it was like history, man. <sighs> What do you think happened, dear? <coughs> <laughs> well, they killed it. Oh. Not the pigs, the media. Yeah. There's not a single place where it's still 1967. You said it. Well, as for me, my favorite year hasn't happened yet. Mm. Right on. Mm. It's going to be 1987. I'll be 65 or so. <laughs> I can collect Social Security, <laughs> stash some away, and buy a small Greek island. Yeah. Right on. Actually, I'll settle for a small Greek. <laughs> uh, 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 well, well, what's your favorite year, Marianne? <laughs> Well, I guess I, I, I don't really have one. Mm. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Not yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. Excuse me, please. Oh. Why don't we all move into the living room? Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs>
chilly in here. Well, come on, all you big strong men. Uncle Sam needs your help again. Got himself in a terrible jam. Way down yonder in Vietnam. So you see, the old dame does have a past after all. Oh, I'm prying, aren't I? I hope it means we're friends. He's very good looking. <laughs> Is that Mr. Madrigal? There never was a Mr. Madrigal. I see. No, you don't. Oh, how could you? Madrigal an assumed name, as they say in the gangster movies. I cleaned up my act about a dozen years ago. The name was the first thing to go. What was it? Naughty girl. If I wanted you to know, I wouldn't have changed it. Hmm? But why the missus? Widows and divorcees don't get, um, what's Mona's word, hassled as much as single girls do, but you must have found that out by now. <laughs> well, frankly, I could use a little hassling. The town is full of charming young men. To each other. Hmm. There's a lot of that going around. You, you, you make it sound like the flu. I think it's terribly depressing. Nonsense. Take it as a challenge. If a woman triumphs in this town, she really triumphs. You'll do all right, dear. Just give it time. You think? I know. Come on, come on, dear. Let's get back to those tedious people. I wonder why we we're all gonna die. Oh, no. I love doing this. <laughs> Makes me feel like a lighthouse keeper. It was really nice. And the food, your friends and everything. So, thanks again. And good night. Good night. My husband? Well, only for professional purposes. It's you weren't supposed to kiss my husband. You promised me you wouldn't kiss my husband. You weren't supposed to touch my husband. Well, Hi. Uh, so what is it? Furniture? I'm sorry. I. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm Brian Hawkins down the stairs. Oh, Marianne. Yeah, I know. Mrs. Madrigal told me about. It. She said you needed help with something. I, I, I can't imagine what... <laughs> Do you want to let me in on it? I, I think Mrs. Madrigal is matchmaking. You don't have any uh, furniture to move? It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> I, I had just finished telling her how there were no straight men in San Francisco. I know, it's great, isn't it? Oh, Brian, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought you were straight. Oh, no, relax. Oh, I'm as straight as they come. I just don't like competition. Would you like to have a nightcap or something? I love your place. Yeah, it's funky, huh? Anywhere else, it's called squalor. Here, we pass it off as old world charm. Is all this yours? Are you kidding? No, the stereo and the weights are mine. The rest of it, that all belongs to the dragon lady. Oh, Mrs. Madrigal. Yeah. So, uh, she's trying to fix us up, huh? She's a little strange. 
I, th I think she means well, though. Has she always had this place? Uh, I think she used to run a bookstore in North Beach. Is she from here? Nobody's from here. You're from Cleveland, aren't you? Yeah. How'd you know? Mona told me. Well, no secrets at all. Don't count on it. What? We all have secrets in this town. You just have to dig a little deeper for them. Work tomorrow. Uh, thank you for the wine and, and the tour. Anytime. Out of coffee? It's in the conference room. Now, what in God's name would you? Christ, adorable's here. Tell that uh, bitch and hustle his butt up here on the double. Uh oh, what I do? Screw up the adorable occasion? <laughs> There's a conference at nine. He's just nervous. He's always nervous. I didn't forget. Well, I know you didn't. You think I'm okay, don't you? As an account executive? As anything. Sorry. How about lunch sometime? Oh, I'll have to check his book. Not him, you. I mean, we should get to know each other if we're going to be working together creatively. Because it's fairly clear you're not just this year's little message taker. Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> okay. If we can go Dutch. Italian? <laughs> Today? Mm. I talked to Patty Hearst today. Mm. God, Pinky, how is she? Dee Dee, you would never know. Six months in a closet, and all she wants to talk about is omelet pans. Six months? Ah, oh, I thought we'd only three. Mm -hmm. Dee Dee, is that Beecham? Aren't you? <laughs> How do you mean? You know, this, us. It's new, I guess. Lunch with a married man. Could I have some ice water? You shouldn't be free. You're the one who's free. Free? Single people get to call the shots. The lady would like some ice water, please. You don't mind being called a lady, do you? This sounds so stupid. I doubt it. You're not. <laughs> I used to pronounce your name Beauchamp <laughs> instead of Beecham until I actually met you and found out the right way. <laughs> it's English, right? My parents were shamelessly affected. I'm so glad I found out before embarrassing myself. Between us, I pronounced Kearney Street Kearney when I first got here. Did you? And Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, and blasphemy of blasphemies. I called cable cars trolley. I still do that. <laughs> no big deal. Screw them if they can't take a joke, right? Right. We're all babes in the woods. Use it. Innocence. It's very erotic. To me, anyway. I think my lunch hour's over. Marianne, wait a second. What's the problem? The problem? The problem? You are a married man. That's the problem with a married wife. Who happens to be the daughter. You met her? Oh, my God. I hear Mr. House. You want a scoop you won't find in the no, social no column? No, scoops, You haven't please. slept together since the fall of the world. Beach. Didi and I aren't even friends. We can't talk like you and I can. 
God, I just want someone I can talk to. Oh my God, he's coming. Will you quit being so goddamn middle American for about 10 seconds? I'm sorry. Really. Please help me. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can have coffee. Oh, there you are. I want to show you something. Maybe we have to have coffee in the snack no, bar. we need time. Mary Ann? Uh, he's waiting. You've got to find time. Yes, Mr. Halcyon. I need the notes on the adorable me. Well, yes, right away, Mr. Halcyon. Have you heard what I'm, I'm saying at all? This is the wrong place for this. I know. We need time. Maybe a drink after work. What about this weekend? I don't think that would be a good idea. I know a little place up the coast. You look busy. Just this month's Wilkes Bashford bill. Eight pair of yellow sweaters, six pairs of alligator shoes, five pairs of Belgian sequins. Pull your shoe closet, trees. will you? Your old man's been bitching at me all day. Don't talk about daddy like that. Screw him. I don't need his permission to breathe. I don't need it for a goddamn thing. Oh, let's call him and tell him, shall we? Dee. Me or you? Dee Dee, I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's been a bitch of a day. I'll bet. <laughs> How is little Miss What's her name? Who? Daddy secretary, your little lunchtime amusement. You gotta be kidding. No, I don't think so. Mary Ann Singleton? Is that her name? Isn't that quaint? Christ, I hardly know her. Hmm, that's never stopped you before. You're too much, you really are. Where in God's name did you dig this one up? I've got eyes, Beecham. Where, when? I was having lunch with Binky today at Brighton Express. Oh, very quaint of you. You were crossing the street with her looking very chummy. You missed the good part. You should have been there earlier when I ravaged her in the Redwood Grove behind the Transamerica Pyramid. You're not going to smart-ass your way out of this one, Beecham. I'm not even trying. I stopped with you a long time ago. Tell me. Yeah? No! You, 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 oh! Ah! Oh, mouse! Oh, how baby caves. Jesus, I thought you got kidnapped by the CIA or something. Mm, long time, huh? Three months? Yeah, about my average. Oh, no. You got the shaft? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Was it really horrible? No, it was really amiable. He was terribly civilized. I sat in Lafayette Park and cried. Robert was a Marine recruiter. Did I ever tell you that? No. Mm. He gave me this little key ring that said, the Marines are looking for a few good men. So what happened? I don't know. He just panicked, I guess. We were buying furniture together. Oh. Well, not exactly together. He'd buy a sofa, I'd buy a chair, but... Oh, it was a first for me, Mona. The furniture buying stage. That's something. And I never had anyone read me German poetry in bed before. In German. And he played the harmonica. Talk much? Hmm? He could read. But could he talk? Or was he too busy playing the harmonica? He was a nice guy, Mona. Which is why he dumped on you? He didn't dump on me. You just said he did. No, it just, uh, it just wasn't meant to be. Oh, bullshit. You are a hopeless romantic. It takes one to know one. Oh, all I know is I haven't laid eyes on you in three months. There are other people in the world, you know, besides Mr. Wright. And we love you, too. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> Michael Mouse, mm. if you start crying, I will never boogie with you again. This isn't crying. This is damply pensive. You're such a hard ass. You have 10 seconds to snap out of it. What? Mouse? Jesus! The woods are crawling with jackbooted harmonica players. Look, I'll memorize some German poetry, okay? And then you can stay here until you find another place. It'll never work. Why not? You're into TM. I'm into S. It'll never work. Can I move in tonight? You said there are new tests? 
Edgar. I want those new tests. It won't make a damn I'll bit of I'll pay difference. for them, goddammit. You were wrong about Addison Branch. You said so yourself. His symptoms weren't so well, pronounced. Symptoms can change. It's been three months. Edgar, as a friend, stop fighting this. It's not fair to yourself or to the people what the who hell love does it? fairness have to do with it? Face it, Edgar. You've got to tell your family. Buy a yacht. Take Franny around the world. Rent a castle in Spain. Run off with a whore. I don't care. For God's sakes, make these next six months count. Sit down. Of course. Is that the answer? What's the question? Gertrude Stein. Oh, I don't think she said it. Do you? No one's that clever on a deathbed. What would you say? How about, oh, shit? <laughs> would you like a sandwich? Yes. It's made from focaccia bread. Thank you. I'm Edgar Halcyon. That's nice. I'm Anna Madrigal. Madrigal? Aren't there some Madrigals in Philadelphia? This one's from Winnemucca. Oh, I, uh, I don't know Nevada too well. Well, you must have been there at least once. Probably when you were 18. Twenty. We were late bloomers in my day. Which one did you go to? Oh. You're talking about the Paleolithic period. And your first time. Try. Everybody remembers their first time. We drove all night in this dilapidated old. Finally, we got to this house in the desert. The name? My God. Blue Moon Lodge. And the girl? Hardly a girl. More like 45. Well, oh, that's a girl. What was her name? Margaret. How did you know? She read me all the Winnie the Pooh books. My mother ran the Blue Moon, Mr. Helsey. And if you dare apologize, I'll take my sandwich and just go home. Why did you let me run on like that? So you could remember who you were then. You don't seem too happy with who you are now. I'm going to finish this sandwich. Please. I'm currently running a house of my own. Here? Russian Hill. I'm a garden variety landlady, disappointed. Not a bit. Good. The next time, your turn to buy the lunch. <laughs> 